Today, former President Donald Trump announced abortion rights should be left up to the states. This is Trump's clearest stand yet on one of the nation's most delicate and contentious political issues. CNN's Michael Yoshida gives us a look at how his latest declaration is being received by those on both sides of the aisle. We have abortion where everybody wanted it from a legal standpoint. In a video posted to his Truth Social account, former President Donald Trump seeming to punt on the issue of abortion, saying after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, abortion rights should now be left to the states. Many states will be different. Many will have a different number of weeks or some will have more conservative than others and that's what they will be. At the end of the day, this is all about the will of the people. Trump did not indicate the number of weeks during a pregnancy at which he thinks it would be appropriate to ban an abortion, but he did reiterate his support for certain exceptions, such as victims of rape and incest or when a mother's life is in danger. President Joe Biden attacking Trump's abortion message, accusing the former president of lying and saying in part, Trump is scrambling. He's worried that since he's the one responsible for overturning Roe, the voters will hold him accountable in 2024. Well, I have news for Donald. They will. Trump's video also getting immediate backlash from the leading anti-abortion group Susan B. Anthony Pro-Life America, writing in part, We are deeply disappointed in President Trump's position. Unborn children and their mothers deserve national protections and national advocacy. Democrats also criticizing Trump's latest attempt to clarify his stance. He shouldn't duck this issue. This is an important one for the American public. After appointing three conservatives to the Supreme Court, Democrats have tried to tie Trump to a wave of anti-abortion laws passed since Roe was overturned in 2022. In Washington, I'm Michael Yoshida reporting.